I'm Julie Pace at the White House, where President Barack Obama is putting the finishing touches on his first State of the Union address. And I'm joined by White House Senior Advisor Valerie Jarrett. Now, from what we know so far, this is going to be a speech that focuses heavily on the economy and creating jobs. But what's the president going to be saying specifically in terms of his plans to get Americans back to work this year? Well, it's a good question. He's going to, number one, reflect on the last year and all of our major efforts that really pulled us back from the brink of economic collapse and have set us on the right course and how we're going to continue that effort to really focus on jobs of the future. And so the president will be talking about infrastructure and the kind of jobs that creates. He'll be talking about small businesses. Those are our economic engines. And if we just give them a little bit of a break in the resources they need to invest and an incentive to invest and grow, that's where we really see the job growth opportunities. And he'll also be talking about green jobs, renewable energy and clean energy and how we can focus on the jobs of the future. Uh, and he'll also talk about public education and how important it is to, to focus on education and making college affordable and, and all of the things that people think about when they're sitting around the kitchen table and they're struggling to make ends meet. We know that the president is going to say that he's just as committed to passing health care now as he was when he came into office. Is he going to lay out a plan, though, for lawmakers, a path for them to get a bill on his desk? This is what I think he's going to do. He's going to remind everybody about why we fought so hard to get the reform. Today, 14,000 people lost health insurance. Yesterday, 14,000 people lost health insurance. And tomorrow and the day after, that's the pattern that we're on. Today, the costs, um, out-of-pocket expenses and premiums of health care are exorbitant. Small businesses tell us every day that they can't expand and hire new people because they can't afford to keep insurance for the people that they have. Every day people tell us about how they have a pre-existing condition and they're getting dropped from their insurance companies and they're having to again make these tough life choices and so I think it's a good opportunity to remind the American people about why health insurance is really a part of the overall economy and if you have a job and you're making you're working just as hard and you're making less money some of that is because you're spending so much on health insurance. And so I think it's a, it's a chance to take a step to review where we are and see our vision for the future. It's not a time for strategic tactics in terms of how it gets through Congress. And I know we're all looking forward to actually watching this speech after talking about it for so many days. He's feeling very good about it. <laughs> White House Senior Advisor Valerie Jarrett. And just a reminder that AP will be streaming the president's speech live tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm Julie Pace for the Associated Press at the White House.